Hi guys, my name is Davina. I'm a TA for EECS 1011. Today I'm going to be talking about Lab H. Now Lab H is all about circuit building. So the first thing I'll be talking about is a breadboard which is very very important to be able to build a circuit on. So the first thing that you'll see as soon as you open your kits is this kind of a breadboard. Now this breadboard has two binding posts right here, the red one and the black one. The red one will correspond to your 5 volt DC voltage supply and the black one will correspond to your ground. So this is positive and this is negative. We have two rails on our breadboard. The positive rail is in red and this will correspond to this binding post. So to the positive 5 volt DC voltage supply. The blue rail right here will correspond to the ground or negative. Now the thing about these rails is that all the holes in each rail are connected to each other but the two rails are not connected to each other. Similarly we have columns here. These columns have five holes each. Each hole is connected to the other hole within a column but two columns are not connected to each other unless connected by a wire or an electronic component. The other thing that divides the board and stops com continuity within the board is your valley or ravine. So this little indentation here divides the board effectively. So there is no connection between this side of the board and this side of the board. Unless again, you use a wire or an electronic component to bridge that connection. You also have another ravine in this particular kind of a breadboard, which is right here. So this white line is a gap between this side of the board and this side of the board, especially in the power rails. So we will prefer to use only half the board. Otherwise, we will have to bridge the side of the board and this side of the board. All right. In order to be able to power up your circuit, what you will need is a DC voltage supply, and that can be obtained from this fidget board that you will find in your kits. Now, the thing about this particular fidget board is that it too has these two binding posts. The red one is labeled 5 volt. The black one is labeled ground. So the red one is what we will uh, connect to the red binding post on our breadboard. The black one will connect to the black binding post on our breadboard. So red to red, black to black. And then you will also find in your kits this white colored USB cable. So this cable needs to be connected to your computer to be able to power up this board. And the other end of this cable is connected right here to this board. Now, once you have done that, you will find this kind of a wire in your kit. And you can connect this wire right here to your binding post. Similarly, take the other color, connect it, to the black binding post. And now we can use these wires to connect to our breadboard. There we go. Now the important thing to understand here is that these binding posts are not automatically connected to our rails, which is what we will be using to connect our circuit. So what you will do is take these kind of wires that are available in your uh, circuit kit and then connect from your binding post to the corresponding rail. So red to red, black to blue. And how you can do that is loosen the binding uh, post. You'll find a hole in it and insert your wire in that hole. After you've done that, tighten it and then connect the wire to the corresponding rail. At that point, your breadboard will be all set and you will be able to make your circuit, which we will be discussing in the next video. Thank you guys.